Okay, let's start. I was saying something about, I wanted to give you a clear understanding of the scenario. In Yoruba land, for example, the spiritual head of the Yoruba people is usually believed to be the only of Ife. But the administrative or the political head of the Yoruba people is usually believed to be to be the why the administrative or the political head of the Yoruba people is believed to be the Alafin of Oyo, that sort of a thing. So it's similar scenario to the Ga people. Alright, the Ga people have a spiritual head and they also have a sort of an administrative and a political head. The Ga Manche all right um is the administrative or the political head of the ga people then the spiritual head of the ga people is the bobo woloma um chise bobo woloma all right so i needed to break it down because um we have to understand the context of the visitation all right, how do the Ga people relate to Ilefe? How did the Ga people relate to the Benin people? They are complete. I read what the only posted. I can categorically state here that he lied to say that they came from a house. They don't care. The, the story of the Ga people is well documented and this is the original i think in one of my accounts after i returned back from accra i gave a true perspective of it i gave a true account of the scenario and that's the account i want to i want to reinterpret again we have asked the question becoming on some very topical issues one of the foremost question that i have asked my yoruba friends is why is there no festival done by the Ga people in remembrance of their Ileife root. Why? I'm reiterating this question. Why is there no festival in the entire Ga land that recognizes their Ileife? ancestry this is a question that those purveyors of lies need to answer if you are unable to answer this question know that they are lying why is there i'm hammering on this why is there no festival or activity or ritual or ceremony all those big big english <laughs> why is there no single one that reiterates reenact remember the day they left ilefe there's no single or such festival. There's no single or such um, activities. There's no single or such celebration. But now, these are the same persons that are saying that the God people has no relationship with the Benin people. These are the same people that says that the Ga people 
do not have relationship with the Benin people. Yet, there is a festival done every year. First Saturday of July. Every year. To reenact the day the God people left Benin. This, we are not talking about yes, say. These are evidence. When, you know, in the court of law, they'll say, provide a physical evidence as to your claim. <laughs> they'll say, provide a physical evidence. Provide a physical evidence <laughs> as to your claim. They don't have any evidence as to claim. The Ga language is not the Yoruba language. There is no festival in the entire Ga land that reiterates their relationship with the Yoruba people. Everything is based on deceit and lies. Yet, there is a festival. It is not the Benin people that went to Garland 50 years ago to go and say, you people, oh yeah, be doing one festival to remember us. It's not as if we took war. It's not as if we took war to them. But yet, they have a festival <laughs> that reenacts the day they left Benin. And the name of that festival is called Obeneshimo. Obenen from the word Ubinin. Benin. Obene. Ubinin. Obeneshimo is a festival that reenacts the day the Gao tribe left Benin. And that festival is done first Saturday of July every year. So that is a physical evidence as to the relationship between the Benins and the Ga people. But now, this is a twist. This is where the controversy is. You know, may I not be like, this is where, this is where the controversy is. All right, this is where the controversy is. This is where the controversy is. When I got to Accra, some of these sentiments arose. Some Ga people, if you, if you go back to the video, the unedited video, you discover that at the earliest conversation that we have, some of the Ga people said that they came from Ileife. Some said that they came from Benin. But one of their foremost historians now gave an elucid explanation as to this mess up and that is what i want to put in proper perspective a lot of the persons who have called me since that's exactly what i told them that it is not a problem for for there to have been a mess up or is there a problem it is not a problem it is not an issue for some to believe of their Ileife heritage and some to believe of their Benin heritage. Frankly speaking, a larger percentage believe of their Yoruba heritage 
than of Benin heritage. And I will tell you the reason why. I will tell you why. The story is this. The car people settled in Benin land for hundreds of years. They were originally from Far East. Settled in Benin land in hundreds of years. And they were intermarriages. The quarters at the stage is um, Isi quarters in Upper Basin, Siloko Road. Where Obaiwai the first was intent, was buried. Um, they settled at the Isi quarters. Um, they spent hundreds of years, so they were intermarriages. The married the Edo people and the Edo people married them, so there was a bond. The first generations had bloods of the Edo people, so they can be ascribed by marriage as being also Edo people. Proceeding to almost at about ending of the 14th century, I've not spent almost 300 years in Benin. They wanted to migrate to have a place that they can really settle. There were complexities of history, which uh, more of them, most of them might not really be, be able to remember. But the point was, they have spent over 300 years here. So now, how do a population of that size, almost a population of a present day three or four communities live without other people around them know that um, they have migrated further. They needed to devise a means of breaking the group into two folds. The weak group and the strong group, according to their narration. The weak, the weak is the old men, the women, and the children, as well as the farmers. Farmers was also part of the first group. So these were uh, uh, um, these were these were the larger population of the entire Ga tribe. The old men, the women, both old young, and the children, including the farmers. These were these four fat, fat, uh, categories that make up of badge one. Badge two were the able-bodied youths, the medicine men, the warriors. All right. All right. Um, these were grade two. So, along the line, the badge two, the badge one passed through Ileife after leaving Benin and settled for a while. The left settled in present the Benin Republic. The left settled in present day Togo. All right. Then the Bash two that have stayed behind gave about a space of about um, two to three months before they left. But during their voyage, they never branched any place. They traveled directly to the coastline and settled at the mouth of river Volta. and that group was led by one man called Tashe Bokate 
It was led by that group. It was the head of the warrior. I think a lot of you saw when I snapped, a, a snap in the front of that, that man, the warrior that led them out of uh, Benin. When they got to river, the Mount of River Volta, they moved a bit inland and settled in present day Accra. They were the second badge that left, but they were the first badge that got to Accra. And that badge that got to Accra first now recognizes themselves as the Nongwa Ga, like a clown recognized as the Nongwa Ga. All right? The Nongwa Ga. Hundreds of years later, the first badge who had settled in various places, including in Leife, eventually got to Accra. And this Nongwa, who were the second badge that left Benin, the first badge that left Benin got to Ife late. The second badge that left Benin, sorry, the first badge that left Benin got to Accra late. Why this, sorry, how do I put it? Oh, it's very confusing. But just pay attention. The first badge that left Benin got to Accra late. Why the second badge that left Benin were the first to get to Accra. So when the second badge got to Accra, the Nongwa people, had, the Ga people of the Nongwa now had already settled. It was the Nongwa that now gave land to other Ga tribe to settle. So now, the Nongwa produces the spiritual head, the Bobo Wolomo, Why the other badge that came about the other four clans, the Nongwa is a, is a clown. Amongst the Nongwa themselves, they have five houses. It's the five houses, five houses that mix up of the Nongwa clan. Then there are other four clans that mix up of the other guy. It is from the other four clans that it produces the Gan Manche, which is the paramount ruler of the Ga people. But the spiritual head must come from these five houses of the Nongwa. The present one is Wolumon, Bobu Wolumon. It's like a father. All right. They will never attend any function in Ileife because they know the truth of their ancestral direct connection to Benin. You will never see any person from Nongwa being part of the miseries that Oni has been politically trying to cajole to Ilefe to give a mental picture. I even heard that he formulated a house for them, the house that they came from. These people were never at any time. You understand? You understand? And so, I have asked a question. It is not a matter of um, destructions of history. I've asked a very simple question that needs to provide an answer. If the Yoruba says, most especially, it's not always the Yoruba, if the Ilefe people says that the Ga people came, I've asked this question before now, if the Ilefe people says that the Ga people came from Ilefe, how come the Ga people has a festival every year that says that they came from Benin? This, if Nigerians are not sentimental in how they reason, and not be tribally very conscious on how they reason. It should give a blueprint. You said that this is where these people came from. But these people has a festival every year that reenact that they came from somewhere else. How can you not, how can you be reenacting a festival of a place you never came from? It's just, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. They came from Ilefe, yet there's not a festival done 
recorded in all of the history of their existence in Accra, done to recognize their sexual connection to Ilefe. But yet, they are not related to Benin according to what the Yorubas are saying. But these people does a festival every year. First Saturday of July every year. I was there last year. I, we even did a live video. I did a live video on this same platform. Go to this platform July 3rd, 2021. Uh, was it? I think it was July 3rd. July 3rd was the first Saturday um, in 2021. I think it was on the 3rd. Go to this page on July 3rd, 2021. You will see. I was in the midst of the festival at about 12, 1 a.m. Because the festival usually starts from at about 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Towards the midnight. Because according to them, they left at midnight. And that is why they also reenact it at midnight. So you, <laughs> you understand? So they say with a lie, but they don't get physical evidence as to prove their own truth. Other than the kind lie, 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 lie. <laughs> you, see, you see, don't understand. I don't understand. No, 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 no. Their cultures are not similar. Who said? I've been to the God tribe, I've attended some of their festivities, some of their festivals. For the past three years, I've gone there twice. I'm going again this year. Who said? The question, I've asked one question. Open your mind, I'm going to take, I'm going to relax. If these people say that they are Yoruba, yet they don't have any festival that recognizes their yoruba -ness. But they have a festival that recognizes their beninness done every year. What does that tell you? You understand? What does that tell you? No, no, no. I'm, an, I'm an, a cultural and history advocate. If we want to talk about... <laughs> If we want to talk about insecurity, we'll talk about insecurity. Anyway, this is my platform. You can't even tell me what to talk. I'm not talking about any insecurity. Oh, yeah, come and beat me. Oh, yeah, don't blame me. Don't blame No, no, no. I don't think that's right. No, no, no. You shouldn't insult a respected um, king of the Yoruba people as criminal. So, we should be very diplomatic in our speech. However, I will always fault him for trying to bend history. The people in question originally did not come from Nigeria. They came from Far East, originally. So, how did the owner of Ife not give them the house that they originated from? I read it in the speech. Someone sent it to me that this guy just quickly just found one house. Just in a candy. <laughs> That guy, that guy, I see your ma. <laughs> not see your ma. <laughs> that guy, I see your ma. <laughs> I have been to them. I have interacted with their top historians from both sides, from the Nugwa side and from the other guy side. They are not originally from Nigeria. So, how they now have a house that they came from? According to what the only posted, is what I don't know. <laughs> so that, uh, uh, so that I don't know. So while we are trying to be very diplomatic, we should also understand that there is a level that anybody could condole lies. I don't want to drag this matter. I want us to take. I want us to open our mind on this matter. Like I have said. Like I have said. Like I have said. I want us to open our mind. The point that I have raised is that all the Yorubasi are saying that 
The Ga people are Yoruba people. Okay, assuming if you are true. That means if you are right, that means the Ga people have nothing to do with the Benin people. <laughs> exactly. It has nothing like this to do with Benin people. Correct. But how come there's a festival done by the Ga people? Recognized amongst the Ga people. We'll go and find that. The old Ben and Shimon. Let me give you the spelling. But if there is no festival that the Ga people use in recognizing their connection to the Yoruba people. But yet, the people who are, who are they are not related to, who they don't even know, they have never met in their life, there is a festival that reenact the day they left that place. And it's called Obene. I'm sure that uh, Yoruba people should not also go and be saying, Obene is a Yoruba word. <laughs> you know them. <laughs> we know them. <laughs> the video come out and say now, <coughs> the video say that, um, the video come out now and say that, Obene is a Yoruba word that means the origin. <laughs> or the video, <laughs> and I have these people, I, I schooled amongst them. You understand? And with this present on, he can, he can formulate all the form. You know, someone who said that the Garden of Eden is in Ife, the Noah's Ark, it's everywhere, is in Ife. <laughs> There's nothing he cannot formulate. We should also expect that any moment from now, we will not be hearing on social media that the word Obene is a Yoruba word that means something. That's their next line of action. No, 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 no. Well, you, you see, you see why you people are quite. We have a contest of conversation. We have a contest of conversation. Corey De Pelo, Akigbe me. I'm sure this is probably the first time you might be here. All right. The contest is the guard people. If you want us to trash Oromia, we'll find a day to trash that one. That is your own belief. All right. That is not your own belief. The Benins have too much robust history that all what Yoruba people think of is to copy their history in order to have the mentality of superiority. You cannot be superior than a tribe whose history avails in all European documents, in all archival documents, in all of the museums all over the world. So you cannot, you cannot hide that people under your Ibadan printing press curriculum. The Benin's history is too big and robust that any tribe can swallow. You can't swallow Benin history because it's bigger than your tribe. You understand? You can't hide and history of a people that is bigger than your history. And that's, you know, I think that's the problem now. Nah, you'll be like, um, when, uh, uh, when a python or boa once swallow elephant, <laughs> it will show calm. It will show calm because elephant too big. Not be that kind of meat python supposed to swallow. <laughs> you understand? If it is swallow all those grass cutter antelope, <laughs> but not if it swallow elephant. So the Benin history that the Yorubas are trying to fictitiously or cornily Ghana for themselves is too big. So it's shocking them. Of why are. It's too big, so it's shocking them. So when we want to discuss Oromia, we'll discuss it. So if you believe, if according to what I don't, I don't think, well, it is not in my place to say you are wrong. For you to think Orome is a Benin man or a Benin, sorry, is a Yoruba prince and all of that. I wouldn't say you are wrong. But contest, when you bring it to the contest of Benin history, you are wrong. Because according to my history, his father is a Benin man. So if one's father is Benin, his son cannot be 
a Yoruba. So it doesn't matter whatever context you put it. All right. Uh -huh. So we want to talk. If you want us to talk about Yoruba much, uh, Romania much later, but today is not about Romania. Uh -huh. We can create another time to talk about Romania. It's not. Um, it's not. Um, uh, so that is what I don't have anything to say. I've already explained the confusion. I've already explained all of these. We have evidences when. In 2019, the only was trying to crown some chiefs in Yoruba uh, in, in Accra. The spiritual head of the God people, Bobu Woluma, I have the letter. His son, his son, his son Leslie Lumo, sent it to me. I would have told on it that he has no power to crown any chiefs or create any chieftaincy title in Accra. And he couldn't create chief tenancy title in Accra in 2019. We have that. Uh, by the time I'm done with this video, I'll put the letter here. <laughs> so, uh, it was your person, it was your people that was missing the topic. You understand? So... Well, I think you, like, like I have said, like I have said, uh, if you said they are spiritual leader, you could be right. If they belong to the same court group, Oni could be their spiritual leader. But Oni is not their ancestral leader. Because, like I have said, you have not been able to say anything that is reasonable to be able to counter what I have proved. If there is no, if there is nothing more more authentic that if there's nothing more authentic you know say on oh, oh, in our chief priest now uh -huh, and then the key go to the key cow so it should be a spiritual leader of some tribes and uh -huh, all those are romila uh they are all those they are romila thing when they do maybe they be their spiritual leader but like i said being a spiritual leader does not mean a chief priest in Benin can also be a spiritual leader of um of which other tribes all over the world can also belong to. Uh -huh. So spiritually, that does not mean anything. But like I said, there is a physical evidence that denotes um, uh, uh -huh. not sure that they like Juju or those Uboni. Maybe those set of people that came, they are Uboni member. You understand? So based on, say, Uboni and Yoruba court, uh -huh. Maybe they consider one of the power, you know, uh -huh. and all of that. I don't know how they run up. But what I'm just saying, the spiritual leader does not mean the spiritual leader of the God people is the Bobu Wolumon. The Bobu Wolumon can never, because he knows the truth, the non Gua people. All right? So, uh, <clears throat> uh, so, First, uh, Tani Mowo. Let me make it very clear. I do not go to Yoruba platform. I do not go to Yoruba platform to comment. I do not go to Yoruba platform to contribute. If people tag me Yoruba platform, I do not reply. Do you know why? There is nothing that I will say that will make you people believe what I say. I understand that clearly. And there is nothing that you will also say that will make sense to our people. So the, the line has been drawn. Whatever you guys believe, continue to believe in it. It doesn't concern us. Whatever we believe, you have no right to not try to want to convince. So if you are here on this platform as a Yoruba person... You are not comfortable with what I have said. I have always said something that is very fundamental. I have said the historical migration route of the Ga people. And I have also went further to say that the Ga people does a festival to reenact the day they left Benin. What I have also said that there is no such festival that recognizes any tribe whatsoever or any place 
in present-day Yoruba land. And I've also said, how do you reconcile these insurmountable differences? How do you reconcile it? It's something that is there. It exists. First Saturday of this July, this year, they will also do it. Oben Eshimo Festival. It reenact the day they left Benin. You should also, what you people should be advocating for now is so quickly gives more money to the government chair or quickly your normal theatrics so that they can also now be doing a festival to recognize you people. But as for now, the only festival recognition of the place they ever came from is to the Benin people. And, that's, and that to me is not confusing. That to me is a fundamental fact that I have said. It's factual. If I am lying, quickly leave this platform. Go to your Google and Google it and come back and say, ah, no, you have lied. This is what I have just said. I didn't, no cause for insult. No, now, nah. what is capital of uh, Yoruba land? Ilef is a village. <laughs> I, can. I think you people should move. Uh, I think you people should move your capital to to Lagos or Abiokota. Ilef is a village. How can that be capital? The capital of Yoruba land is in Oyo. It's in the palace. It's supposed to be the palace of the Alafi of Oyo. It's the political and the administrative head of the Yoruba people. So it's not the Ile Ife. So I disagree with you, sir. The capital of Ile Ife, of Yoruba land, is in Oyo. Oyo Ile, the original palace. Or I don't know how you guys call it. Of the Alafians. Not Ile Ife. Mm. That I'm giving their first their festival a different meaning. <laughs> Very funny guy. <laughs> Very funny guy. All right, I'll give you a task. I'll give you an assignment. I know you are lying. I'll give you a task and assignment, Alexander Paul Adams. I'm going to give you a task and assignment. You know what you do now? Go to this page. Scroll down to July third on this same page. Two thousand and twenty-one. And see the live video that was there. I didn't do it in Benin. I didn't interview. I didn't. I didn't force them to say what they said. And go to my. And go to the video of my interaction. Simply go to. Simply on YouTube. Simply put my name in Maswe in Zodua, and you will see a compilation of a lot of videos I've done. In one of the videos, you were going to see me when I was addressing the spiritual head of the God people. And listen to what was said. I'm not, I'm not talking. <coughs> I was there. I've been there twice. Do you want evidence? Video evidence? Pictorial evidence? I have all of it. So when I'm talking, I'm not talking out of carelessness or out of bias. I'm talking out of physical proofs. It's just like the God people are presently in Ileife. For the AJ, AJ, AJ festival, I think I heard this tomorrow. Then I will not come and tell you now that you that is in AJ that is going to attend AJ festival, me that is in Bini will not be telling you what transpired in AJ festival. Uh, sorry if I'm not getting the, the pronunciation correct. <laughs> I should tell you what transpired. But if you don't believe, I've given you an assignment to go to the YouTube, put my name, the Amazon is Oduwa. You will definitely going to get a video relating to God. And I want you to look at it, listen to it, and you will hear what they said, not what I said. Is otherwise too small to probably be forcing. I didn't force. The difference between and that is why I said my anger after saying, laying all of this fact. The difference, while it is obvious for the Yoruba, is because it's the only that is pushing. I'm just a young guy using my small group to push. Imagine if the Oba of Benin decided to join the push. It would be loud. The entire God tribe, the God people, 
Do you want me to send you <laughs> WhatsApp conversations? I'm part of it, their WhatsApp group. A lot of them wanted to attend Igwe Festival last year. So, I have been able to do my bits for the Benin people. If the Yorubas are smarter in terms of going to all of these places that they are proud to trace their ancestry to Benin and now, and now surreptitiously start upturning all of this history to their own favor. And because it is seen being done to the very epicenter of their creation, of their people. So their own seems to be more validated because it is their authority that is pushing for all of these things. Unlike what Izoduwa and GBD is just doing. It cannot be as powerful, it cannot be near as powerful, it cannot be very close to being powerful as to what the only of Ife and its cabinets are doing. If the palace can listen to me and key into the idea that I've been pursuing in five years, all of these people, Igbo people, Yoruba people, dragging tribes based on fossil, they will all run. Because the evidences are there. You understand? So there is a level of what I can do. And there is a level beyond me. There's a level of what I can do. And there's a level beyond me. And I feel that it is high time the past has to look at all the brilliant ideas that the Zodua have for Benin Kingdom and key into it so that it becomes it is easier if I go to a place with the blessings of the Oba Benin with Oba Benin's chiefs comrades I was giving gold I told them I, I showed you people all the gifts that the God people gave to me the videos are there the light I showed all of you the gifts that I had to go give to the Yase. It's another story that I don't want to talk about publicly. So these are some of the pains in my heart. That we yan eke yan my wa lomi yo. Yan kakabori yo bosu du yi yi do yan hi. But egwa ema we ni. No di yawe. No di ge u gyo du na we wana ni agele. Ni agele. Ni agele ge yi yi do yan gele hi. I changed to Benina because of my nose. <laughs> so, my women, my women, no bone, no, no hecky, ne guide ya, no you boba. So that I will kill ya ni my lily. A guide are you boba? Eh, we na no logo boy here. Unuba no ni ye akra. Boya u. Most especially o yig de video ni u. Ukbonogbera. O yig de video ni u ukbonogbera. Ori ye. E ma so ni ebe ge tu en so no ge. November last year. Abe tamane. Abe call him in from akra with tamane. Da we ge omare u. But. Ama, Ama, do ye and I, or more guayin ye so. You cannot, cannot fly. It cannot fly. You understand? Ama do guayin ye so. Egg where my guayin is cannot fly. I've, why we call him, eh? Well, we are now. Some 
some top people. That's when you know, you so when we work with a nigga so. But we a nigga so. You are a team. It tell me that you will me an hour that this is me no honey gilly a day. No saying, if you guys so nazo, if you where if you buy a hen, you know, yeah, dear, because this is the authentic story near Tama, you may want to wear a buya, who will not be a young bit Tama, and save you where. So, more time, it's time to answer your way, but I'm making it to me. I'm a basset. It is you, Wesse. It is you, Wesse. So, but. Ah, wow, wow, kill Bori, now what do me? If you ba. I wear a Timaya no irisi. You bawa do walk him, my boy. I leave him my yard, do I go in a guy? Yard, do I tell me dying? I hope you do I may hope many of you would die. Uh, we might go get me. No worry. So, these are some of the practical things, these are some of my pains. I can't do beyond what I have done. Aswane Oheke Ne Gwai Wefu Aswane So um So this this is about my frustration. I needed to do that in Edo so that um, people would understand. This is about my frustration about the whole scenarios, and I'm quite very frustrated about it. I'm not. If you ask me, I'm not happy about it. But that's the situation. That's the place that we found ourselves. But um, but we thank God that um, however it is. So that's however it is. Mm. So, anyway, I think um, uh, we have done well. How many hours have we done? So, um, if there are any, um, if there are any contributions, if anybody wants to. Um, um, Anybody wants to contribute, he or she can let us know, so that uh, um, uh, so that um, the person can contribute. Yeah, is a is a sorry to say, my brother, of your back, Cassie Mose. Unye no, iriya ye, vi yo baya hi. Iya atolo wa we. Iya atono wa we, ve do ya zitani ye. They will, they will, they will be fighting you secretly and publicly claiming friendship with you. It is who they are. So it is, it is not only restricted to the only, it is who they are. It is who they are. 
I think you have to talk to the Yasser of Bini. <laughs> Yasser of Bini. <laughs> I discuss everything with him. Uh, so, basically, I'm not in... I'm not in always... I'm not in always... <laughs> See, eh? All of their lies, it did my palm. All of their, all of their strategy, it did my palm. <laughs> anyway, no one lash out. I study all this, their strategy, all of them. It bows your bars. So. Oh, when we actually get to the corridor of power, we know what to do. Without insult, without violence, we just know what to do. We have the history. <laughs> we have it. And that's what we must work with, the history. It is what we need to hold so dearly. It is one thing that we pave way for us, if we can utilize it. But this is your name, eh? Hey, <laughs> shop, move it down. I say, Bekus Chopper. If you do. Wow, Beku. I say, Bekus Chopper. Bekus Chopper. Bekus Chopper.